day we're on the road going to look for elk horns I know we got two for sure unless they've been picked up uh, I glassed them up back in November it's a side-by-side -side set uh, I don't know if they're broken or if they just they could just be little we don't know they look kind of well they still look kind of brown in November I think there was last year's brown so hopefully they're just hard white right now um, they're kind of tucked away up in a cliff next to a giant rock some trees it's gonna be kind of fun getting to them but I'm hoping we get down in there and pick those up and then I'll circle around and do a bunch of glass and hopefully pick up a couple more okay we're back gonna get a little western um, got a road blockage on one of the roads to get closer to them um, I glassed them back up I don't know if I can switch my camera I'll switch it around and get some video of that too but they're still there um, getting there's the problem but I know if I don't if I don't go over there today and get them I'll, I'll never get them so I need to, I gotta go drive up the road a ways and come off a different point that's a little closer and then drop all the way off, um, probably a thousand foot elevation and then climb back up through the cliffs and then pick those up. I think I'll pick them up um, and then hike over to a spot that I can get through the cliffs and probably stash them climb up through the cliffs all the way and then I'll go shed on that hole their bench fly them up there and then coming back I'll pick them up again and then I tell it to the truck so let's get after it okay we're going got a goal today of hoping to not break a leg going through these cliffs by myself and one deer horn would be at least one deer horn it's a good amount of tracks but I have a hard time finding them in here and uh, hopefully at least one brown elk I sat in glass for a while trying to see if I could find some bedded bulls I didn't see none but the side I'm on right now kind of sucks. Um, most all the elk will be on the bench. So I'm going to follow this little point I'm on right now down, drop off in that canyon, and then pick up the two, the set, the set there, and then climb back up all the way to the top that other side and pound that bench over there because most of our luck will be over there, I think. Just more feed for them and stuff. Sagebrush and grass. This side's real, real dead. So that's the goal. One brown elk, no broken legs, maybe a deer one or two. Plus the set we're going to get for sure. So um, I had a full debate with myself. I don't know if you guys do it, but. I was gonna bring my spot and scope or not. Um, I hate carrying it for the weight aspect of it, but man, it's nice when you see something you can confirm if it's a shed or a stick um, at long range. But I opted not to bring it, so hope that don't ruin stuff today for me. I'll see something and waste a bunch of time going to check it out if it's just a stick so fingers crossed we don't get in that situation with no spot and scope but probably gonna just keep going all the way to those sheds and next video will be a horn so get back to you all right got cliffed in pretty good i was up on top of that um those horns they're over there and I got a good eye on them now. Don't look too big. But I just dropped off the cliff and <clears throat> got lucky spotted this little guy. 
little baby guy. Rotten. Rotten, rotten, rotten. Spent a good amount of time glassing. And uh, this one was right below me. So, I think that one's staying there. We pray the other ones across the canyon ain't that bad. But, I never knew how good this bottom was. I might go pick those sheds up on my other side over there and then uh, just work these bottoms. I might drop the sheds in the bottom and work my way all the way down and then come back up. But we got one today so far. So let's go get those other okay. ones. Decided to carry this sucker for a minute. Just getting ready to head up that other side. Go up to the milk horns and I got lucky. See that shining? It's deer horn. Down here in the bottom. I think I'm going to stay in these bombs all day. Ooh, that's a good horn, too. Yeah, that's a good horn. Um, weak fronts, but... Man, he's... He's got a way long back end there. Pretty good mass. Old. Probably what we'll all find today is old, who knows. But I'd love to find the other side of that. So not a bad not a bad day so far. I'll probably stash these in the bottom run up the other side and pick them up. And then all the glass from the top back down in this bottom and see what else we can find. Just barely getting up. horns are. Oh, I see him. I can see one. What do we got? Glass these suckers up a long ways away. Oh, not bad. Actually a pretty dang good bull. Big old nasty burr. That's great. Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna get some pictures. Set you guys up for the pickup on those. Older than I thought, dang it. I'll still pack them out. Good mass, just old. Wish I'd have found these four or five years ago. Stud bull for the unit. Got some cool stuff going on in his back end here. Just old, giant fronts. This big, pretty good burr on him. This one. It's good mass on him. Big old nasty burr. These fronts are, I don't know, 14 inch fronts. Really good front end. I'm sure he was even better, you know, I'm sure he was. That's what we came for. Too bad they're old. I'm gonna sit and glass this. See if we can pick something else out. Get these down to the bottom and maybe we'll match up that nice buck. Back down on the bottom. 
seen some bones, so I figured I'd come and investigate. Little baby two by three. Huh. Lion maybe. Lions have been insane down here. So many lions. But okay. Keep cruising. I'm gonna go right down here to the edge of this canyon. It's gonna go up. Probably hike that back out so I'll drop all these horns. And then uh I think I'm gonna go down canyon. And uh probably these bottoms are actually pretty big, so I'll probably walk one side down and the other side back up, but and then maybe uh get down a ways, hike up on one of the sides and glass. See if I can see anything up higher. I haven't found an elk horn down here in the bottom yet, so I'm guessing the elk maybe there up on the side hills more, but who knows? Get down here, I don't see a lot of elk tracks, so I want to get lower in the canyon see if we can find some fresh elk. We'll have to pick up grounds, but I'll be halfway happy if we don't find nothing else, honestly. I didn't think we were going to find a whole bunch of horns. So, keep cruising. I think I found a bear den. Oh, that tore up. All dug out under that big rock. Hopefully, nothing's sleeping in there. I'm going to go around it though. See, I climb all the way down in here. It's been another two hours since I've home. No, I don't know. I'm a long ways in. I never bring a gun because I'm an idiot. It's definitely a bear den, though. Stash those horns back there. I'm probably going to drop off on another one. Got some horns back there, so I have to carry them. And uh, now we're just trying to get down the bottom of this canyon. I'm getting into a lot more elk sign. And uh, um, really haven't found any deer here either. It's just blowing my mind. But for sure we. Oh, man, well, there's been deer tracks everywhere. I did glass up something. I think it might be a small elk or a deer, I don't know yet. But we gotta get another quarter mile down this canyon before I can get a better eye at it. So, just a little update. Hope we don't wake up there. I didn't see no fresh tracks out of it, so. Yeah, you can come out of there. It's a pretty big hole. Right, pretty big bear. But you can see the country I'm in. Steep and nasty. Working hard to find these horns. Okay, got lucky. Cruising down this wash, almost past it. Got a shed over here. Let's flip this camera around. Freaking iPhones, you can't switch the video while you're already videoing. It's like a nice four point though. Deer shed. Barely seen it. Got lucky. Oh, jeez. I thought it was a four point, just all the rock and junker. I'm not packing that out of here. Huh. Pack 
excited to see him, man. I think it's been a while, so. Look at that thing. Been just chewed on. Coyotes or something. Huh. Bummer. Oh, Throw it in the bottom of the wash. Maybe it'll change my mind. I'll be back, I'll grab it and let my dogs chew on it or something. It's long ways to pack a dog chew. We're every bit of six miles in now. So, okay. Get back with you if I find another one. Picked that deer shed up down there in that bottom up there a ways. I came down and decided to probably come up on top of this so I can glass over there where I think I seen that shed. But uh, just checking out this giant thing. Walking up and we got a little shed. A dinker. Getting into more and more. Hopefully, start finding some big ones. So, keep cruising. You can probably climb up on top of this rock and see if I can get better eyes over here on below that rock. See if that's a shed or not. So. Okay, we're way up here. We're away from the trees and everything. Get this goofy guy. Any more elk sign and stuff, but I'm gonna go down to the end of this and turn around. I'm a long ways away. Okay, <clears throat> made it back all the way around that top of that bench. First horns I picked up were like right down there somewhere. It's set. My horn stash is down at the bottom of that canyon. Truck's over there. So, we're headed down. Try to get to this point glass a little bit, grab a drink of water, and boogie. I did find one other little elk horn, but he's on my back. I didn't get no video of it. My camera wouldn't work for some reason. So, it's been a long day. I've been hiking for seven hours. Right now. Okay, update. I've been having to skirt this cliff to get down. Well, I glassed down there. Just glassed up another side-by-side -side set. This one looks in a lot better condition. So, I don't think you'll be able to see them from here, but I gotta go another ways up and then I gotta rock climb down, probably throw my backpack off and be able to get down there and look like a pretty nice bull, so. That's good things, we can pick them up and then I'll be able to skirt down this canyon over to my pile and hopefully be able to pack them out of here. I'm already haggard, I'm already beat up. I got 10 miles on my feet for sure already and we still gotta go uphill. Back out to the truck, it's probably I don't know, two miles of the truck or so or more. And with two two elk sets, a single and that deer horn, and then I got a big huge base. He's like clubbed kinda on my back right now. And then a little dinky two point. I'm gonna throw him because I'm not carrying him out of here, but I'll let you know when I get down there. Might be able to get down right here, but it's too sketchy. 
when you're in here by yourself, you want to be careful. So, get back to you. Well, that was sketchy. That was sketchy. Had to come down that rock chute there. And I threw my backpack off and let it kind of roll down. I had to take my binos off and stuff them in there so I didn't get broken that. My freaking backpack rolled like, I don't know. It rolled clear down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it just kept rolling and I'm like, man, if I can't get off this, I'm screwed now because my backpack's freaking mile down the hill. <laughs> but we're almost to that set now, so. Getting excited. Didn't lose nothing, that's good. Let's go get these. We'll be getting close. Man, I don't know how the elk get around in this crap. I got freaking rubber boots and opposable thumbs and I can barely climb up and down these hills. The elk just live in here with the snow and everything. It's crazy. This set should be right here somewhere. Didn't look real big. Something goofy was going on with it too. I don't, I don't know. It looks kind of weird, but it looked like they were hard white. We hope at least good shape. Remember they were by this giant rock. So gotta be right here. Where are you? Right here somewhere. There they are. Oh no, he's he's not too goofy. Short, kind of old. Can't believe I glass them up. Grab some pictures and get the pickup. About the same age as. Those other ones we picked up today. Seen these two bulls hanging out on here. It's got a weird back end on them. Not a bad bull though. Young bulls. These are young bulls. It's a heavy set. A little closer so you can see them. Yeah, these are pretty sweet. We'll take them. Pretty cool bowl. Kind of crazy to come in here and glass one set up, and now I got. These two, that other set, and that single coming out. Perfect. Well, we're back to the stash. Finally. Yeah. Get them loaded on. Get headed up to the cliffs. Whew, it's getting dark.
This is brutal. Straight up. It's kicking my ass. Okay, it's day two. I got out super late last night after packing those horns out. Beat me up pretty good. Um, I ran out of storage on my phone, so I didn't get any video of that. Um, but I finished out the day at 17 miles in that steep, nasty country. So my back hurts today from my backpack rubbing on it. Um, and uh, the feet hurt, so. I got about a half a day today. I woke up late this morning slept in and then I gotta be back for some baseball practice tonight for my son so we should get about five five and a half hours of walking today though so that's pretty good um up to the spot i've been watching elk all year it's a pretty common spot most everybody walks this i'm sure people walked it last weekend so i'm sure the easy sheds up on top of the ridge have been picked so i'm probably gonna stay off the top today um down on the side hills of these big canyons and see see if we can get lucky and pick something up there was a couple big bulls hanging out in here so my goal today is one brown if we find one brown i'm happy we could find a pocket and find six so or we could find nothing finding white horns up here <clears throat> you don't really find too many white horns up here they get picked picked up so but it's Tuesday, no one else is up here. Should have the mountain to ourselves. And uh, let's go. Okay, headed up here, it's freezing. It's our first shed. Okay, we're back home. I walked for probably four hours today. Didn't find nothing up on them ridges. I got sick and came home and been laid up for the rest of the day, but uh, just wanted to end that video out. You know, down in the desert was fun, and then day two only found us that one four point deer horn, and that was it. So, if you liked the video, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.